continue on with this idea of the importance of product quality, I'm excited to introduce our next speaker, Marit Torp from Elchem. Elchem is a leading provider of advanced material solutions. And today, Marit's going to be sharing how they are using Cognite Data Fusion to improve quality and reduce waste in their facilities. Hello, my name is Maya Torp and I'm a process engineer at Elkim Carbon Solutions. Here at Elkim Carbon Solutions, we produce electrode paste and specialty products to the ferroalloy, silicon and aluminium industries. One opportunity for us is to increase the predictability of equipment maintenance in the milling step of one of our production processes. Previously, we used planned maintenance. If we do not perform maintenance at the proper intervals, we risk degraded product quality that can result in significant off-spec products, resulting in loss of more than 100,000 euros. With Cognite Data Fusion, uh, we were looking for a way to predict the state of this milling equipment to eliminate off-spec products while optimizing our maintenance schedules. We have different data sources. Uh, these are uh, tags from the control system, typical time series, uh, data from the maintenance system, and data from the laboratory system. Before, there was not an easy way to combine all these data sources into one visual visualization for doing, well, both production follow-up uh, or, for example, when we are performing RCAs. Now, with Cognite Data Fusion, we have a common platform where all the data is collected. Um, as you can see here, uh, we have different parts of the CDF or Cognite Data Fusion. And this is where we, where we can explore our data. We have put in an, uh, put up an asset hierarchy. Uh, for now, this is um, the milling step, the ramming paste that we have been looking at. Uh, and here you can choose, uh, for example, vertical mill. Uh, and you can see here you have seven assets under the vertical mill. We have 22 time series connected to these assets. And we also have events. And you can add five like P and IDs and they will show up here. So everything is contextualized and kind of put together. Also, you can uh, use filters and uh, search for certain assets. Then we have the time series. Uh, also here you can search or uh, use filters. So maybe you can say, for example, I would like to look at uh, uh, all time series connected to the filter 15. Mm, and if you press one of them, you can see that uh, you get the data here and you can choose like how far back you want to look at them. Here we have information and metadata on this time series and also uh, what asset it is connected to. Um, files, as mentioned, could be like PNIDs or different uh, documents. For events, it's uh, for us mainly work orders from the maintenance system. Uh, here also you can choose to look at uh, what kind of a maintenance or maybe uh, for what equipment you're looking at or what work you want to do. Or of course, uh, time intervals could also be created time and updated time. We have added some 3D models uh, here of our mill. We have created four different dashboards for different personnel in our facility, ensuring that all relevant data is easy to access and ensure that we have ensure that we have smooth operations. <clears throat> this dashboard is the one uh, developed for the process engineer. Here we have handpicked uh, just the right data to give the very best overview of the process. Uh, it could be uh, raw data from the control system, filter data or maybe synthetic time series we have created in Cognite functions. There are so many opportunities, sky is the limit. 
A feature uh, that gives a lot of value um, is the possibility to show events on the time series. If we toggle these buttons, we will get lines or areas in the diagram showing the corresponding time for the event. In this case, a visualization gives me information on when a certain type of job has been done in the milling system. A huge improvement from before. We also imported historical data into Cognate Data Fusion, which allows us to create uh, state detection models, uh, that, which gives us an early warning uh, when there's something in the milling process that is abnormal, so that we can respond quickly uh, and ensure that the product quality uh, is not affected. The results of the models are shown uh, in the dashboard. Here you can see the three models that have been developed. We are running our machine learning models uh, within Cognite, Cognite Data Fusion, making it much easier to work with, uh, with the large amount of data being created. It also gives the ability to make modifications to the model as we gain clearer insights with Cognite Data Fusion. And now that the solution is up and running, we can make continuous imp improvements uh, to the state detection models, making them more uh, accurate over time uh, as more data is being processed. <clears throat> this brings us to the next and last tool, Cognite Air. In Cognite Air, you can create and maintain your own monitoring tasks. Uh, for each existing monitoring task, uh, you can easily check the details, uh, you can edit the details, and you can explore the results over different time intervals. When creating a new monitoring task, you can easily access several standard tasks and models ready for use. Our process is 24 hours, and as our operators do not survey the process at all times, it is crucial that they get a notification telling them when the mill system is unstable. This prevents us from running an unstable production process over longer time periods. Another aspect that we considered while evaluating Cognite was their e-learning offering. During COVID, we learned that we no longer needed to have on-site in-person training, as long as our vendors have self-paced training that we can use for our own employees. Cognite has a library of self-paced e-learning that we use to onboard our own staff. They also have learning tracks already in place, so it makes it simple to decide what training to take if you are a data scientist or a process engineer.